Hi, my name's Holly and welcome to this session. Um, I work on behalf of the National Apprenticeship Service and for the next 10 minutes or so, I'm going to be giving you some practical ways that you can boost your employability, especially under the current circumstances of COVID. Okay, um, so what is employability? Employability is made up of three different things. Firstly, personal skills and attributes. If you add that together with knowledge and experience, you get you. OK, and that is really, really important. So you are made up of these three things and employability is made up of these three things as well. Now, we have the opportunity to improve our employability skills all of the time. Sometimes we do it without even really thinking about it. But actually, given everything that's going on in the world and the current restrictions with lockdown and with COVID, there is certainly things that we could perhaps doing more of to ensure that we are improving our employability to help us in the future when it comes to applying for things like apprenticeships. But actually, when it comes to applying to lots of other things as well, because your grades are not going to be enough to secure you positions anymore, okay? Especially when it comes to things like apprenticeships. So you can see on this mock-up CV of Joe Bloggs, uh, we've got education on there. Great, fantastic, perfect. Employers are going to be looking for the other things as well. What do I mean by other things? Firstly, they're going to be looking at your training. Secondly, they're going to be looking at your work experience. And thirdly, they're going to be looking at your hobbies and your interests. So let's break that down a little bit. Let's look under the hobbies and interests ones first, because that's the easiest to really kind of understand. This one here, I'm a key musician and I play the guitar. Nice and easy, okay? Work experience, so this person's worked at a restaurant on Saturdays for the last two years. Now their training, again, this is certificated or awarded training. So things like first aid, for instance, trust. What they have done is pulled lots of things together and put it all in one place. Now, like I said, I'm gonna give you some hints and tips on how you can improve your employability when it comes to COVID, okay? Um, and how we can ensure that we're making the most of our time. So, personal skills and attributes are things which employers are definitely looking for on your application forms. And the four main ones, or the most important ones that they look for, are on screen now. Now, we typically would call these soft skills, and that's okay, but I don't really like calling them soft skills too much, because actually, they're really, really important skills to help us get through our professional and our personal lives. So, you can see they are motivation and ambition, collaboration and teamwork, determination and resilience, and finally, adaptability. So these are the four perhaps most important ones. We need to ensure that actually we're doing everything that we can to demonstrate that we have got all four of these personal skills and attributes. So how do we develop skills at home? It is no lie that we have been in lockdown now um, for a couple of months. Things are still quite restricted. Um, and actually for students, you're in a really tricky position because actually you want the opportunity to go and get some experience and to develop your skills and to prove that you have got strengths. But how are you meant to do that when you're at home? This is what I'm gonna help you with, okay? Because most definitely you are all doing something that you can start to unpick and unravel and put down on application forms in the future. So let's start off with these four questions. First of all, what problem have I solved during lockdown, okay? This could be absolutely anything, okay? Something really big or really major, it's perhaps something a little bit smaller, okay? It doesn't matter, but find a problem that you have solved. Secondly, how have I managed to communicate with others when I can't meet them in person? Again, showing your ability to be adaptable and flexible. Have you used things like uh, video conferencing apps, things like Zoom? Um, have you done other things as well? Um, you know, have you increased social media or increased um, your WhatsApp groups? Those types of things, okay? Again, this will demonstrate your, um, your adaptability. Thirdly, how have I managed to support those who need extra help during lockdown? Again, this goes a really long way in terms of a little bit of experience, okay? So have you picked up the groceries for an elderly neighbour every week? Have you done the big family shopping every week because you've got parents who are perhaps a little bit vulnerable? 
Having been part of a community group to help lift spirit, spirits or help volunteer, these types of things. So how have you helped people in need during this period of lockdown? Fourth, how um, or what have I done during lockdown that I never thought I would be able to do? OK, really start thinking about this because I'm sure we've all done something. Um, some people have learned instruments. Some people have started to learn how to cook. Some people have got done courses. OK, and then you need to unpick that. OK, once you answer those four questions, you need to start thinking, what skills does that demonstrate? My ability to communicate differently shows my adaptability. Um, having the ability um, to teach yourself an instrument shows self-motivation, okay? Um, it shows your ability to be t uh, tenacious, those types of things, okay? What problem do I solve during lockdown? Well, quite simply, you're, you're demonstrating your problem-solving skills. So really unravel it like that. So how do you develop your knowledge from home? Thousands of different ways that you can do that. And there are some examples on screen now. Uh, you could do something like learn basic coding. OK, so it could be online courses. And there are lots and lots of free online courses now that you can do. And actually, quite a considerable amount of online learning platforms have made a considerable number of their courses free because of the lockdown situation. So you've got to do a bit of research and shop around a little bit. But even places like the Open University have made some of their courses free now. So some of those are awarded and accredited too. great things to put on your CV. Even if it's not accredited, you can still talk about it on your CV um, and in your application form. So it could be something like learning basic coding. Maybe you play an instrument and you've really nailed a really difficult song or perhaps you've actually bought a new instrument, perhaps even something like a ukulele and you've taught yourself how to play it. Again, demonstrating your skills there. Perhaps you're somebody who's learned a new recipe or you're somebody who's created a new recipe or even just somebody who's picked up cooking a little bit more. Perhaps you're doing the cooking three nights in a week now for your family. Maybe you've read a new book or you've read seven new books or you have read a new genre of book, those types of things. You've learned a basic course online, something like you're teaching yourself basic sign language. So how to communicate? How do you say hello? Goodbye. Thank you. Please. How are you? These types of things, which is absolutely available online. Or perhaps you've expanded your knowledge on something in the world. Have you been reading articles? Have you been looking at papers which people have, have published online? Um, have you really started to get into the deep side of Google Maps and explore a new world wonder? Really doesn't matter, but you can be doing all of these things during lockdown, in the evenings, after your schoolwork, at the weekends, during lunchtime. The really simple things that you can be doing. However, shows you're proactive and the more proactive you can be when it comes to writing your application forms the better off you are going to shine out and stand out again spoken about this already but you can go through lots of self-development via online courses you can do bite size there are some daily lessons on there which are fantastic but there are lots of other online platforms now that you can look at when it comes to doing online courses find something you're interested in or even better Find something which relates to the industry that you want to go into. If you're interested in psychology, do an, an introduction to psychology um, course or something like that. Um, expand your horizons, OK? Learn something completely new and something a little bit quirky. It's just about demonstrating that you are doing something during lockdown. Now, work experience during lockdown is very tricky. There are some companies out there offering virtual work experience, but actually finding it is a little bit more difficult. However, you don't need to be finding virtual work experience to talk about work experience that you've done during lockdown. Think about the little things that you have done. Have you been part of a volunteer group that helps the vulnerable in the community? Have you been taking shopping to your grandparents every week? Um, have you been playing music every Friday evening um, on your guitar in the street to brighten people's moods a little bit? Um, have you put together a volunteer group to help other people? But just think about the little things that you have been doing during lockdown that you can really speak about. Now, if you're the person that has um, perhaps not really used their time as wisely, start thinking about doing something because things are going to be becoming much more competitive. Vacancies are going to perhaps see an increase in the amount of people applying for them. And the way that you're going to stand out is by talking about your work experience, your hobbies, 
your training, your knowledge, skills that you have developed over the last few months during lockdown. Now, this is a fantastic tool for you to use. It's an employability action plan. Some people are really good at doing this in their heads, but actually I would say writing this down goes a really, really long way. Because if you can write it down, you can then prove in the future um, that actually you have done stuff and you had a whole three month plan or a two month plan or a one week plan. But it also helps you to understand what you have done. And it helps you to understand the employability aspects of it as well. So here is the blank one. Here's one which is filled out for you to see a little bit more. OK, so not talking about the skills. So what are you going to do? Put a timeline on it. Make these goals smart. So make them specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and timely. And then you need to unpick what the employability outcome will be. So if it's basic coding, you're going to get a certificate stating I have, ba I have basic competence in coding because you've done an online course. OK, um, learning based in sign language. You can add to your CV that you taught yourself basic sign language skills. Um, again, experience dropping groceries around to my granny on a regular schedule. Again, demonstrating your commitment to the local community and you've got a specific volunteering example absolutely make yourself an employability action plan because when you start writing um, application forms this is going to help you massively so hobbies and interests hobbies are really important and students think that yes they've got hobbies but how are they relevant they are massively relevant because as you can see every single hobby has got skills that it demonstrates and you can see them on screen now even something like just being interested in music shows your creativity your uh, collaboration, um, your perseverance. If you're interested in comedy, it shows that you, again, are creative. You've got humour and confidence. You've got idea development. Again, people who are sporty, into fitness, motivation, communication, passion, dedication, leadership. Um, let's do one more. Let's go straight for something like cooking. Okay, attention for detail, self-expression, fast-paced decision-making. The point is that every single one of you have got skills and strengths. You've been demonstrating them for a really long time, but it absolutely is about unraveling all of the things that you can do and putting them in an application form. Again, this video is great because you can pause it here and start to note down some of the skills which you can pull out from your hobbies. And I love this slide as well because it's about recognising your personal strengths. So when you're doing application forms, one of the most common questions you're going to be asked is what are your main strengths? And people always tend to go for the same ones. Communication, teamwork, leadership, um, the ability to meet deadlines. And they are fantastic skills and they are important skills and it's your employability skills. But actually, there are thousands of personal strengths out there. So again, this slide is fantastic because you can really start to pick out some other personal strengths that you definitely have got, but perhaps you don't think about. So perhaps you're somebody who is proactive. You are somebody who uh, uses your initiative. You are efficient. You're decisive. You're analytical. It's all of these keywords which are really important that you can start filtering through your application forms in the future. So I really hope that has been useful for you. If it has been useful, fantastic. If it hasn't, I'm really sorry. Maybe go and watch the video again and try and pick out one thing that you can help yourself with in the future. Any questions, want more for some more information, check out the links on screen now. But from me to you, thank you for watching.